Good morning. So I see we have the demo gods uh, here at work already this morning, so this should be fun. Um, but before we get going, I thought we could put into context uh, what we're getting ready to show you in terms of some experiences that you can have uh, within your online banking uh, mobile application. In today's busy world, there are two types of banks. There's the bank of yesterday, and there's the bank of now. Featuring Mobile Advisor, where video connects each customer to their own personal banker who can answer any question about any product line or help with complex financial questions. At the Bank of Now, customers can collaborate directly with their bank by simply using the devices that they use every day for just about everything else. Thanks to Mobile Advisor, Bank of Now customers are avoiding frustrating long lines by logging on to the bank's website or mobile application, talking face to face with their banker, and even sharing a desktop at the same time. Mobile Advisor allows customers to click a button on the bank's website or mobile application and launch into a video call with a representative without using plugins. Mobile Advisor guarantees that customers can reach the banker they need without having to wait on hold while pressing one, two, or three, or drive to the local branch. They simply connect to their banker for immediate responses. At the Bank of Now, Mobile Advisor allows us to embed video and collaboration directly into the tools and applications that customers already use to easily reach out and touch a banker from any device, anywhere, anytime. In today's busy world, there are two types of banks, the bank of yesterday and the bank of now. Which bank are you? So that's Mobile Advisor. This is a uh, bank of now app, so this is a fictitious bank. Um, and this would be, we've already logged into the application. So basically what I'm gonna show you today is three different scenarios that you might, and a customer, I'm playing the role of a customer. And in the back here behind the error wall, we have uh, a gentleman uh, with Cisco as well playing the role of the expert. Uh, so we're gonna throw, show you three different scenarios that might be typical that a, a, that a consumer may have um, when they're interacting uh, on the mobile channel. So the first one is, is they've logged into their uh, online banking application. And I'm here, let's say, for example, I'm here today at BAI, and I don't see a, a certain deposit. Um, I was expecting a very large, you know, $5,000 deposit. I don't see it here yet. And because this application I've logged in, and this application knows who I am, it's going to route me to somebody in the contact center that's an expert uh, in retail, bank retail banking and specifically DDA accounts, if the demo gods are in our favor today. So I can come in here, I just clicked on uh, call my banker, and I'll click call. Yep, and the demo gods are here. So we'll try this again. So what we're trying to do right now, uh, just some context, is we're trying to send the signal from this room wirelessly to the back, uh, back in the innovation area. And we're having some challenges with that today. We're not using the one that was provided. We brought our own. So I'll try it one more time. OK. So what would have happened here is I, well, let me try to log in again. What would have happened here is I would have had a conversation over video with a gentleman in the contact center. And he basically would have explained to me, let's give it one more chance. Third time's the charm, right? Nope. Oh, there we go. There. So this is, hopefully, <laughs> Steve looks frozen. So basically what Steve would have done is explain to me that, that the funds were actually available today and they'll post to my, uh, my DDA account this, after, or this evening uh, by 8 p.m. And then he would have, as you just saw, terminated the call. <laughs> the second one is a wealth example, right? So again, let's say I'm, I'm here today at BAI, I've got my eye on the market, perhaps I'm in uh, Kiowa uh, down in South Carolina playing golf, and you know, I'm, I've noticed that there's a little bit of market volatility uh, as of late in the market. And so I, I'm, again, I've logged into my online banking application, 
and I'm looking at my portfolio, and I have a question. You know, I want to reach out to my wealth advisor. And so once again, instead of being routed to the contact center and having to go through um, an IVR, some sort of a queue, video-based queue, uh, the application knows who my wealth advisor is and is going to route me directly to, uh, in this case, Steve, uh, let's hope, uh, who is my wealth advisor, and he and I can have a conversation and talk a little bit about this market volatility. Steve. All right. So Steve was moving for a second, and then all of a sudden he froze up. So I'm not sure. It's probably a, an issue with the wireless signal. So once again, um, would have had a conversation basically asking him. He's got, so his, on his side, he's got a, a screen that knows some basic CRM data about me, uh, what my relationship is with the firm, how many accounts I have, whether and the fact that I'm an ultra high net worth client. Um, and I'm not pleased that the video is not working right now. But uh, if, if this was working correctly, we would have had that conversation. He would have given me some advice, perhaps move some of my funds around or put me into some different investments. Uh, and then, as, again, as part of this interaction, we would have, uh, he would have tried to cross-sell me uh, an opportunity to talk about further long-term wealth strategy planning and doing that right over this, this video communication. And I know Steve. I've, uh, I've had a long relationship with Steve as my wealth advisor, so I trust him and I like to be able to see him face to face. Last but not least, the third, um, how is it not even going to end now? Yeah, we'll just go over here. Let's see, one second, bear with me. Yeah, so the application now is frozen up. So the third example would have been, uh, is the third channel, or the third interaction would have been, I'm at a, at a car dealer, um, and I've checked in on Foursquare, um, and so because of a, a product that we have called Social Miner, uh, it's picked up on that. And so when I had logged into my online banking uh, platform uh, my, on my mobile device, I would have been pu I've pushed an offer uh, because it knew I was at a BMW dealership looking, at, uh, probably looking at cars. And so I opt in, right? So I opt in and say, yes, please share my location. And I would have been immediately pushed through the use of big data technology an offer where I would have gotten two point, uh, about a quarter point lower on a loan. Uh, and then the concept there is I could call and talk to Steve, kind of sort out those details on the loan, and then we were going to show you a live uh, signature capture on the device, uh, which would then put my signature on wet ink in the room back there. But the demo gods, again, are not cooperating. So well, I invite you to come back and look at it where it will be working, and I invite you to our booth later on uh, this week where we will show you a whole omnichannel experience, not just mobile, but also in the home as well as in the branch and the contact center. So I invite you to come and see those solutions later this week. Thank you.